hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is arita if you are stopping here for the first time and if you are not welcome back okay so in today's video as uh, some of you know i have actually moved to canada um ontario canada so um and i posted a video <laughs> i'll just put the video right here i posted a video of me moving to canada and some people had you know some questions in the comment section so i just feel like I will just do it justice to like do a video to answer those questions. So that's basically what this video is about. So I've just been answering your questions. So I'll be able to explain better on you know the things that I need to explain. Alright, so let's just jump right into the video. So the first comment I got from Donuwe Adanma. She said hello which university are you i am currently i'm not even in a university i'm in a college i'm in conestoga college in kitchener campus ontario but um i think conestoga has like i think like four or five campuses and um i'm currently in the one in kitchener i think there's a waterloo campus there's a doom campus there's brampton campus the, and then there's Kitchener campus. I don't know if there's any other campus. Okay, so I think four, right? Yep, so um, Yeah, so I'm in Conestoga College um, doing a two-year course um, Someone said Ugo said I don't understand you couldn't give up your Nigerian driver's license to get your card To get the card you didn't have your Nigerian driver's license when coming actually Ugo, I think um, I did have my Nigerian driver's license um, but the thing is when I went to the service Ontario because like when you get your um, Ontario ID you have to go to service Ontario and then you get your photo card your Ontario photo card and it's like like the ID card instead of having the driver's license you, you cannot have two licenses you can just have one so well basically that's what they told me but I don't think it happens in other provinces because like People got their ID cards and they didn't ask them all those plenty questions. But I think it's just this Ontario one. And they said you can't have two ID cards. It's either you have your driver's license or you have your photo card. And for you to have a photo card, it means that you will give up your driving, like your past driving experience. So if I was to get my Ontario photo card, the lady said I had to submit my Nigerian um, um, driver's license. And I didn't want to do that because I still want to get like a G2 license, so that's why I didn't give up my Nigerian driver's license. I think I, I hope I answered that question. Okay, so someone said, um, Fola, Fola Kemi said, um, how did you pay for the Airbnb? Um, um, I paid the Airbnb for the Airbnb through um, my cousin. She stays here in Canada, but not Ontario precisely. She stays here in Canada, so um, I had to send her the money for her to make payments for me. I mean, did I send that? She just came. I, she made the payments for me for Canada, so that's how I could pay for the um, Airbnb. But I think you should be able to pay with your Nigerian dollar card. I'm not too sure about that, but I think you should be able to pay with your Nigerian dollar card okay um oh um, someone said i didn't know i could get my sin waters said um i didn't know i could get, get my sin in the airport okay so um the airport sin thingy um some days i think some days when they have public holiday they don't work in the airport and some other things like that but they don't they are not always there all the time but most of the time they're always there you could get your sin in the airport for people that do not know i hope this is helpful to you you can get your sin in the airport once you arrive at the airport so i hope it's helpful to you <laughs> all right so um it says which school um fav favorite child said nice which school are you and what course please okay so um i'm currently in Conestoga College, like I mentioned, but I'm currently studying strategic global business management and You don't need like 
for the particular course I'm doing, you don't need to have like a specialized background to get into the course. I mean, anybody, I have people that study linguistics that are doing the course. I have people, like, you don't have to do a business course. Let me put it that way. You don't have to do a business course. You basically just have to have a BSc. That's all. You can be doing physics and you, I have people that actually, exactly, I have people that did like physics, biochemistry, that just got admission to study strategy global business management so i feel like the background doesn't really matter if you want to do um strategic global business but we'll call it sgbm <laughs> because <laughs> the strategic global business management is just a tongue twister right so yeah um i'm doing a uh, strategic global business management in um Conestoga college kitchener and it's a two-year program i know a lot of people will be like wondering um, what's the difference between two year and one year program for the one year program you just get an additional one year postgraduate work permit that's why i opted for the two years program and the advantage of actually doing like a two-year program is you know the educational um, system here is very flexible you could actually graduate like my course i've opted to graduate within one year so you can graduate from that course and then do another course in your second semester or you can specialize well that's the let me not say like the entire canadian system let me say with this particular course i'm doing that's the perks of doing sgbm in conestoga college and when you do a two-year program you have the privilege of having like a two-year um, um, study permit so you can make a decision between those two years of what you want to do yeah basically um yeah so what else what else what else okay so how can i book an airbnb from nigeria i'm arriving in toronto <laughs> oh my god i cannot believe i i'm just saying this now okay so tell me said how can i book an airbnb from nigeria i'm arriving in toronto in august <laughs> august <I'm fast. laughs> oh my days okay i think i answered the question i did answer the question i actually said you can book an airbnb from nigeria with your card if you can't use your naira card try dollar card and if all else fails ask someone in canada to pay for you okay so i think i answered the question thank god i did i mean i mean it would have been so rude for me to answer this question right now in september okay so um like i said you can book with your naira card but i'm not too sure about naira card because of the whole cbn policy and everything but you could use your dollar card to pay for it but if you can't you can ask someone here in canada to make the payments for you or you can pay through paypal i think i think you can pay through paypal and yeah you can just check the because i look for the house i look for the house i check for like the proximity from the house to my school and yeah that's why i i now sent it to my cousin to help me book but basically i was the one that searched for the house yeah so um you said houses um the houses i've been seeing on kgg i'm scared of paying to be honest i wouldn't say you should make pay well you can people do it but um i wouldn't say you should make payments from nigeria when you are not sure of the place you are going to stay in it can be easy for you i mean when you land you can just come in and then just move into the house at once but it's a two-way street like it can go really good and it can go really bad and i don't know you might what if you come to the place and you realize oh my god i don't actually like this place do you understand i feel like it's better to see the place or you can even tell like if you have someone here in canada you can tell them to come and view the place for you but just like i said it can go really good it can go really bad like okay 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 um there's something else that people people were doing when i wanted to move um like i i got into like a nigerian group chat i'm going to leave the link in the description I got into a nigerian group chat and what people did was like people who had arrived in canada they helped they helped other people go and view houses like oh if you need me to go and view your house just let me know when i'm on my break i will go and do it so people go and view the house but i think like they had to you know send like stipend like for transport and everything especially for like places that were really far away from where they were staying so basically that's what you could do oh i even also said it here i said you can check on ireland for your college or university group chats exactly so i'm still thinking the same way okay so um <laughs> craig said 
cra butter let me just say butter watch right he said um is kijiji legit can i pay for accommodations before i come to canada i said yes yes you can but you have to be very sure the accommodation is not fraudulent exactly i almost got um defrauded but i'm a street i'm a pitako babe didn't know i have streets in my head i almost got defrauded but i was like it's it's giving it's giving zimbabwe it's giving fraudulent <laughs> so i didn't pay i was just telling the guy okay don't worry hold on hold on hold on but i did not make payment i but what what i'm trying to say is like you could actually get defrauded if you want to be too hasty to make payments you have to be very very sure that what you're paying for is legit okay so yes you can actually pay on kijiji so if you have someone in canada you can ask them to check the place exactly what i'm saying over and over again if you have someone in canada you can tell them to go and check the place like hey, this is okay because hmm, hmm, there are people are people are in the streets people are fraudulent in this place <laughs> if you like go and enter this um milton said how much is accommodation is the accommodation please okay for the airbnb i think i paid like 300 400 dollars but you can actually get a place like let me just say accommodation let me section it right accommodation airbnb was quite expensive it was like 400 that one is really expensive but you can get houses for like um 600 700 500 800 depending though all those 500 800 houses are not as good as you think they can be you might have to like share with like four people five people using one toilet or using two toilets i know it's you are you'll be saying oh i can do it i can economize i can i mean <laughs> it's not funny <laughs> it's not funny but then you can range up to like one two two thousand depending on your budget and depending on how much you want you are willing to spend on your house monthly so it's it's up to you um someone said um i think i will book a hotel after i get to canada i will get the apartment exactly that's what i did um i booked an airbnb not necessarily a hotel because i don't really see hotels i mostly see airbnbs so i booked an airbnb there are hotels you understand there are hotels but i mostly see airbnb so um i booked an airbnb and i came to canada and i you know tried to settle in one week the next week i got my place and i moved out of the airbnb um who else okay is the sim card working in your android phone i hear people say the canadian sim card is not supported in the android phone please answer me because it's very important to me <laughs> thank god i answered as that then <laughs> it's working okay so um actually when i before i came to canada i heard the same thing i was like i heard that um sim cards don't work in android phones and i was like oh, i'm using samsung I don't understand how samsung will not work in canada like what is happening <laughs> so i brought my samsung phone and i've been using it ever since and i mean <laughs> it's still working very very well but um i hear that some people with like infinix techno it doesn't really work for them but i'm not sure this is i've never really heard anybody okay i have i have i have i have actually there's a lady that just came to my school and she told me that her Infinix phone stopped working in she? And I was like, are you really sure it's the SIM card or is your phone that's the problem? Maybe your phone is bad, but I don't know. And I cannot actually verify that information. Let me just tell you the truth. Okay, so um, someone else, um, Sunday Lillian asked, what course are you studying? I put the strategy global business management. Um, how can I book Airbnb? here in nigeria i will be in canada in august by god's grace thank god i answered i said you can book on their website okay so i will put the airbnb um link in the description as well for people just to help you out so um which other link have we talked which other thing have we talked about okay i will put my school link in the description as well can Stoga college i'll put it in the description um and i'll put a link to my course as well in the description if you want to um 
apply because I feel like a lot of people are asking that question. Mm. What else do people ask here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how much did I pay for the Airbnb? Okay, I mentioned that. Mm. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. how did you get Airbnb from Nigeria? I mentioned that already. I said, um, someone in Canada helped me book it. But I actually searched for it from Nigeria. I searched for it. It's just that I, I, someone in Canada helped me pay for it. So, <laughs> the first place you come into. <laughs> <laughs> that was my cousin okay someone said hi dear please first i want to say thank um congratulations please dear how long did you your visa processing and um, take you right so it took me two months ha, 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 ha. this story is a very funny one it took me two months but i know people that it took like eight days ten days eleven days but mine took me two months okay <laughs> i almost cried i thought i was going to get rejection but that's another day just okay so please which travel agency did you use and how much did you pay for visa processing aside fees flights proof of funds accommodation agent again the agent i want to use insists i pay for house rent <laughs> the agent i want to use insists i pay for house rent of at least half a year to enable them attached to my application was that same for you blood of jesus that is fraudulent <laughs> oh, you might not necessarily be fraudulent but really half a year rent wait let's calculate it wait now let's calculate it uh -huh. i like doing the math let's assume that you are paying like let me say bad as bad let me like one thousand no, let me not say bad as bad let me say if you are paying if you are paying one thousand as a student okay let me not say one thousand because you will be like oh, okay that's like a bit on the high side okay let's say like 800 right 800 times half a year is six months my dears six months how much is dollar now that's four eight, right? Times. Let me just say six hundred. Let me not. Let me not. Let me say seven hundred, right? Let me not over push it. Let me just say seven hundred or six hundred or whatever. Let me just say seven hundred, right? That's three point three million, three million three hundred and sixty thousand, for you to pay for her. Who are you paying the money to? That's the problem. To the agent, to help you process. You never even process visa. You won't pay house rent. Okay. Let me let me answer the other part of the question. That's that one sounds very very fraudulent like this. What's the name? The name is Freda Azizi Truth. Okay, so that one sounds fraudulent to me. I cannot even believe I'm hearing this. <laughs> so okay, so for the agent I actually used, I'm going to put his um details in the description i'm going to put his number i know he, he knows that i'm always referring people to him so i'm going to put his number there so you guys can call him because i actually got his number from another youtube channel shout out to i think aisha or afiza i've forgotten i'll look for a video should i look for a video i'll look for a video yeah and just put it in the description but i actually just got his number from her video and we're good from there all right so um how much did I pay for visa processing? Mm, 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 mm. I forgot to know. I think it was like I think it was like two hundred and fifty dollars or so. I think I think so. Oh my, I forgot to share, but I know that it's around that amount, two hundred and fifty or so. I forgot to, but I know that's around that side, Sha so um i'll put my agents i've answered the first side of the question travel agent i um, the agent i used i don't use a travel agent i used an, an agent to process my visa application but basically every other thing i did it myself 
my flights, my accommodation, every other thing I did it myself. I just use my agent for my visa application, that's all. Um, um, how much do I pay for visa? Like I said, $250, i am not really sure. Okay, so aside fees, flights, hmm. Hmm, so that's i think that's i will look for the right amount i'll go to the cic website and i will look for the right amount and put it there okay so um, well i don't know if the money has increased okay so the agents i want to use the system half of the year to enable them attach my application like i said to you earlier it sounds fraudulent for that side because i really don't get it if what you are saying is he wants you to put the money in your account to show in your proof of funds for you to be able to apply for your 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 visa i understand but if it's for you to give the money to the agent to rent house for you for half a year it makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever in fact it still it doesn't even make sense to the visa officer that is reading it because it really makes no sense you don't have visa you don't have anything and you want to pay for six months rent even the people that are inside canada I'm not even sure they have that weird I'll pay six months rent straight. Okay, let's move on from that. Please let's not dwell. Um Ayo Dili said, um, hi Arita, how did you later book your flights with Lufthansa? Thank you, Jesus, for this question. <laughs> this Lufthansa scene haunted me for months. It haunted me. First of all, I got my visa late. My visa came out late, so oh god, I hope this video is not so long. My visa came out late, but the flight wahala that I had, only God in heaven knew what I passed through because human beings don't know. So, um, apparently, in the Lufthansa office, like we have a Lufthansa office in Port Harcourt, um, I did not even know that we had flights in Port Harcourt that were leaving that, that could travel to Canada. I thought I only had to go to Lagos or Abuja. But then I, I was not like watching videos and I checked Qatar Air. Qatar Air is the flight I know that leaves from Port Harcourt. I know even know that Lufthansa was still traveling from Port Harcourt. I thought they closed when the COVID-19 and everything struck, right? And because like Turkish Air used to be there, basically, and then no drifts. <laughs> so, so it's Qatar Air new, but Qatar Air, when I checked their flight prices, it was really, really high. So I don't even know what even made me know. I've forgotten what happened. I now real I now say, ah, it's true. This Lufthansa they did put out photos. So I now checked it. Okay, I watch one lady's video. I watch one lady's video on YouTube. I've forgotten all this. I watch one lady's video on YouTube and I just you know I checked the Lufthansa. I was like, eh, Lufthansa leaves from Portacourt. That's true. So I now downloaded their app. I still have the app on my phone. I downloaded their app and their their flights was the cheapest one. That was up as at then. This was like a few weeks to my travel. I said, "Here, yeah, how will I pay?" I went to the office. The guy was very, very rude to me. The guy in that particular brand, very rude guy. He's in presidential hotel. I was like, "Ah, please, how can I pay for my Lufthansa flight?" He was like, "Why did you open the door? Didn't you see the sign?" Just for me to turn, truly, lo and behold, the sign said closed. But really, the way he spoke <laughs> was just me. So I was even overwhelmed. I was like, "Yeah," just to answer questions. So that day, I was like, "Oh, I'm really, really sorry. Actually, I did not see the sign on the door, and the door was not a transparent door. The door is like a wooden door. If you don't look closely, you won't even see the sign. But that's not the point here. I was like, "Oh, I'm really, really sorry. Actually, I just wanted to make an inquiry about something." Because I, I called their number, their Abuja number, nobody picked up. I called the Port Harcourt number. That one, the number is always switched off 24-7. In fact, that morning, before I even went to that office, I called the Port Harcourt office. And the same guy, because I believe that he's the one on the phone, he was very rude too. He was very rude. Say, our office opens by so and so time. Brah, he just dropped the call. I'm like, Anyways, so I now called their Lagos office as well. That one I stayed on the call for a very long time, nobody picked up. And I said, okay, let me go to the office. But I know that they usually close by that time. I think they close by like two or three or so. 
So I now went there. The guy was extremely rude, but I then I tried making inquiries. Well, I was like, oh, can I pay in dollar? Can I pay with my dollar card? Can I do this? Brother, don't agree and some no. I just felt like all hope was lost. And I tried paying with my um, for my flight on their app. It did not work. I still have the app till now. It did not work with my dollar cards. I tried, 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 tried. Card no work. I tried to use like um, people's credit card. I asked, I begged my friend for a credit card. So I tried to use their credit card because it shows like only credit cards on the app. I tried to use that. It did not work out. Mm, my, dear, my dear brothers and sisters because as I then I had already transferred my I had already moved my money to the person's account so that I'm able to pay with credit card you know work and I went back to this motherfucker <laughs> excuse my language and I went to this guy back to this office I was like so how do I make this payment like I I had that day I went very early mainly just opened I just entered I said let me enter when his brain is fresh so that he'll be able to answer me normally he was still very rude. I was like, so how do I make this payment? Can you like walk me through the entire process step by step? Because I don't understand it. How will I not be able to make payment at all, at all, at all? And I say, eh, I should go to the app and find out. I was like, ah. Now the app, what I don't do, is when I was not complaining, I was like, I've been trying to apply on the app ever since, and it's not working out. How do I go about it? So, basically, we found out that you can even pay with your dollar card, but he didn't even mention that. You can pay with it because they have like an access bank person that inside that their cubicle. So you can even pay with dollar card or pay, but he refused to let me pay there. He told me that I should go and pay in another access branch. So that day, Sha, I was ready for him. And the day, in fact, the, the interval between all this, his back and forth answers, eh? The interval between all these back and forth answers, the price of the plane tickets was going higher and higher every day. Higher, higher every day. So I had to go back to the other branch. And then I now had to make, in fact, I had to call my friend that works in Asia because of that time, we are having this um, money issue in Nigeria. So there is no space to even chuck your head and enter bank. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, let us go. I had to call my friend that works in Access Bank. I was like, babe, please, can you like just help me so that we're able to just enter one of your branches straight up? Like, I don't want to have to wait because this thing is time bound. And the guy, get wahala. Because once he reached that in 12 o'clock, I mean at 2 o'clock, that guy don't lock in the door. I will not be able to book this flight. And the ticket is going higher and higher. So between going to, going to the, um, going to um, Lufthansa office, coming back, then going back to um, the office again. That's how the flight was up to like, I think $1,800. I already told myself that even if, even if dollars are then is like 15 million, I don't have the money, shall I? <laughs> even if what dollar is at 1000 that year, that year, that year, now the day, well, now the year will leave the country, so I leave on. I did it. So basically, so enough. Um, the person says, so basically that's what I did. So I, I hope I've answered the, the question. Are you dealing? So the the currency in is in USD, and that's a major problem. So yes, I booked it directly from my, the Portacourt office. So um, I went to the office. The guy would book it online. Something very simple that he would have explained to me. The guy would book it online in his in the office. You book it there, then he'll give you the ticket or the teller, he'll just tell you the price. He'll not give me any teller or anything. He'll just tell you the price that you are paying. Then he'll tell you that you receive like a notification or an email on your phone, which you are supposed to. Then you now see the price there. You now go to the um to the access bank, any of your branches in Port Harcourt. then you make payment. So the branches do not even know that you can actually pay the standard tickets in the branch. Long story. Anyway, so you just go pay dollar payments and then you come back with the teller. And you have to make sure that they post it because if they don't post it, they will not be able to see it on their on their system. So then you take it back to the office. The access guy there will confirm that the thing is actually on the system. Then you take the take tickets from him and now give the other guy. It's in the process. Give back to the rude guy. The rude guy will now check it. Maybe that guy is actually nice to that group. Maybe it was just the man of approach. Anyway, I don't know. Whatever. 
Okay, 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 okay. So, I'm checking if there's any other thing I missed. I think that's that was the last question. Yep, yep, yep. That was the last question, guys. I'm very, very happy to have addressed all your issues and all your questions in my video. I'm very happy to have addressed all your issues. I hope I did. If I didn't, please leave it in the comment section. I will be doing like you know some question and answer session, or basically, I don't know. I I will shall try to be very helpful with my content because I know that um, there are a lot of questions that were unanswered when I was coming to Canada. So I'll just try to answer the questions when I can, while I can, and I'll keep just putting it up there for you guys because I mean. A lot of people's videos were helpful to me so i feel like i should also do the same to people so yep thank you for watching this video please do well to share subscribe like you know whatever and share it to your friends and family okay bye